Check this out guys, this is a Keyway Superlight 2018 EF5 fuel injection model. This was not an easy buy today, I'll explain after, it was a pain, but I have got it. Um, and I think it doesn't need much, I think it needs a good clean. Uh, let's get it out, we'll have a good look over it together. It starts, runs and rides apparently, uh, but has sticky brakes, so we'll get it out, we'll have a good look at it. Ideally, I'll do the brakes immediately and then um, get it. It needs some water thrown all over it. It needs cleaning. So, here we go, guys. This is my new Keyway Superlight. Very, very popular bikes, um, especially in Spain. Uh, this was kind of missold in some ways. The story is it went up this morning on Facebook Marketplace. Within 45 minutes, I messaged a guy because I'm sad like that. Um, and then it was very hard to get replies and he was obviously very wary of, of I don't know, of, of selling it. But anyway, I arranged to go and see it in my car because it was about 45 minutes away. I went up in the car. I then had to come back. I had to take the uh, Peugeot for MOT, come back and um, go and get this. But then I couldn't get back through to him. He agreed 5.50, then he backtracked and agreed 6. He added 50 on. And then, last minute, Sultan popped in and, it, and he messaged me, yeah, come on, no one else is viewing today, you might as well. Um, so I jumped in the nearest van, drove up there, saw it again, paid him, and took it away. Now, some of the issues were, he wouldn't give me an address, he gave me a, a really vague, basic road near his, and then it was very hard to find him, and I got really frustrated, and in the end I said to him, just give me an address, mate. Because I was really close to it, and he was, uh, you know, I was saying, I'm near this, this close. No, no, I don't know where that is. And no jokes, guys, I was next to his house um, at one point, and he still said he didn't know where it was. But anyway, we made it in the end. Um, he says that he hasn't used it for a while over COVID. He bought it brand new from the shop in Wembley, where I bought it, near Wembley. He says that the brakes were seized on because he hadn't used it for a while. That's fine. Once I got there and give, gave it a, sh a shake, the, the brakes were free. And they are free now. It, it can drive now. Um, that's it. He also advertised it with 44,000 kilometres. Really big mistake there. Now, I haven't ripped him off. I've still paid what I think is an appropriate price for a bike that needs bits and pieces. But actually, it's done 12,000 miles. 12,525 um, and that will be kilometres, 12,000 kilometres, 525. That can't be 44,000, there isn't enough numbers. It would have been 4,471 if it was. But he's looked at the bottom and he, he's got confused. He thought it's 44,000 miles. It's 12,000 kilometres, which is what? 7,500 miles. And it's his bike from new, he had it from new. So overall it's good. It definitely needs the attention to detail that that I do with the bikes. It needs uh, water first. It needs the chrome polishing. This bar is bent a little, but it doesn't look like it's been down. There's no huge sign. There's not even, look, scrapage. But it is a little bit bent that way, that one. So I need to re-bend that out. It's got these pretty cool spotlights. I don't know if they work or not. And the main thing, like he said, is that the front brake was seized at one point and that scared him. Uh, I haven't driven this. I, I, he says he, could, he says it will start up. Um, I want to get some fuel injector cleaner in here. I don't know how long this fuel's been in here, and I don't know if it's E10. I don't know how much is in there. It's quite a bit in there. I'm going to drop some fuel injector cleaner in there to kind of um, boost the octane, and then I'm going to fire it up, and you guys will be able to hear it. Ultimately, the plan then is to service it roughly. Um, and um, spray the pipe black again, matte black, high temp. Uh, do the front brakes, whatever's wrong there. It has a long MOT, it has over six months on it. Polish it up, clean it, get it straight back on the market. This could be my first genuine quick flip in like forever. So let me get some octane booster in there or a fuel injector cleaner. And then I'll give it a bit of a swish around and we'll fire it up and we'll have a listen. We might even have a quick spin. So let's check this out. Let's see what we've got, what we've not got. Let's, uh... The oil is potentially overfilled. That happens a lot. People just top up and top up and top up. 
um, without thinking about why. Um, let's hear it. It sounds great, it's got no front light, that could be a bulb wiring, uh, we obviously have similar issues on our other Lex Moto. Um, automatic choke, I've got a bit of fuel cleaner in there now to run that through. I didn't realise it has a kick start. I am going to take you for a little spin up and down just to see what we have got and what we haven't got. Um, indicators are shocking, look, you press this once and you get your indicator. Um, and then you press it again to stop it. I don't like that. I'm, I, I, I hate that actually. I don't like that at all. Um, I really don't like that. I, I can't even work that out in my head. Uh, otherwise it's kind of cleaning. Look, once you start seeing bits of rust, bits of rust, it all needs cleaning and polishing. So, um, wow. I'm going to take it for a quick spin so we know that it's got a gearbox. Let's do it! Someone's here, he's just come in, he said, you're the motorcycle rescuer. Um, while I was testing the keyway, he's, he's come in waiting for me. I've never ever met him before. Uh, keyway drove beautifully, it's extremely smooth. I don't like the forward um, controls, but that's me. I don't like forward controls, I'm not used to them. Um, and yes, the front brake feels horrible. Um, not dangerous, but it feels horrible. I'm going to pop it off. I bet there's no pads on it. I lay money, there's no pads on it. Um, so then we're going to have to find them. So I'm going to pop that off in a minute. He's testing the little Peugeot. Um, but uh, here he is. So I'm going to pop these pads off and we'll see what they're like. He was a nice guy. Um, it's always nice when someone drops in and they, and they don't want to kill me. Because I've sold them a dodgy bike years back or something. Not that I do, guys. Um, right, what's next? Pop these front brakes off. Let's see what we're working with. They feel terrible. Annoyingly, they're linked to the bloody back system as well. I can't stand that. Uh, let's, let's have a quick look. Uh, but it drives absolutely beautifully. Um, I'm running out of time today. I, I really have been sticking to my four o'clock deadline uh, between three and four. Because like today is an example. Because like, I'm excited about this bike. I could be out here until eight or nine tonight. But it's not fair on my back, on my body, on my brain. So... Um, I will be wrapping up. I started at nine this morning, and uh, maybe me and Sultan will go and play some pool later. So these pads actually have a little life in them. Um, the problem we've got is uh, the pistons, as as I thought earlier. Anyway, um, oh, that all needs cleaning. The, the the pistons themselves, yeah, they've got. Some life in them actually. Uh, I 
I'm not a fan of um, changing pads too early. Uh, this piston's fairly stuck, seized. Um, so we want to be able to block the other two. There you go. And pump out that last one. Like that. And then we can actually give them all a good clean. What we actually want to do is pop them all out a little bit more. Now let's get that middle one out a tiny bit more. Come on. Ah. They're actually quite um, clean and movable. Oh, that middle one's not uh, not happy. Ah, that's the rear system. Okay, so the middle one's on the rear system. Um, I mean, it's, it's quite simple, really. They need a good clean and degrease, and uh, they need to be kind of scuffed and roughed up. Um, you can do that on here. They're very free and loose, so we can spin them. Uh, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean them up on there, spin them, clean them, and uh, pop them all back in, because they're, they're fine and they'll be okay actually. These calipers are actually in really good shape. Um, they're all sliding, turning, they're not seized. Um, they're all doing exactly what they're meant to do, which is great news. Uh, the pads have enough life left in them, but I'm going to order new ones, so that... Um, you know, for peace of mind, really. There's life in them. You've probably got another six months out of them, but um, brand new thick ones would just, uh, I think they've been wearing slightly thin on one side. Brand new clean ones, um, just to uh, help, you know, with the sale and all, it's best to have the pads serviced and new blocks in there, blocks, pads. Uh, but I'm very happy with the condition of that. Obviously, I want to tap, top up all of the oils, the dot four, when um, when I've done this, so that it's not sucking air through. But it didn't feel like it was. It just felt a bit. They felt a bit um, gritty. So I think this clean will have solved that. If I had actual brake cleaner, I would clean the disc. But the disc feels great. I think it needs good pads. Give it a good ride. Clean it up. It will be absolutely fine. I've got 20 minutes till my cut off. While I'm waiting for the pads to dry after being cleaned, the clutch, that much play, so look from there to there before it bites. Let's have a look. There, and this is not adjustable, so we need to take some play away, and how you do it is down here. We need to take the play away from here, so we need to pull this backwards. So I believe they're 12s. Ka-ching! Uh, right, so loosen this bad boy up. Come on, there you go. Gotta give it a bit of a shock. Might have to uh, get two 12s and hold it actually. Uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, but basically I'm gonna be pulling this back to take up some of the slack. So we've pulled it back a bit, taking up some of the slack. Look at the difference on the lever. It just feels, look, it just feels purposeful. That's good. Um, these spotlight things do work, but I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, let me get these front brakes back together for now, top up the fluids, and then tomorrow will be about cleaning this up using um, obviously water, soap and water, and then actually we'll get some compounds on it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see how dirty it is, but it's, it's pretty bad. It just all needs a good clean. The metal work needs polishing, the, the paint work needs cutting and polishing and it just all needs a bit of love and attention at this stage oh and of course we need to work out why the front light isn't on um, well, I don't know what to do with these I'll probably try and give them a good clean first and then if that fails I will paint them I'll get some high temp black and we'll paint them black top to bottom it's not a huge issue uh, and of course the oil look so the oil level now is it's low, but look, let's stand it up. Mm, it's 
probably at its max. Um, no, it's a bit high. It is a bit high. Uh, not great when it's a bit high. What I do want to do tomorrow is an oil dip, and let's see how uh, how good or bad the oil is. It's actually quite dark. Let me get some of that. Oh no, actually it's. It actually feels all right. It feels like good quality oil as well. With oils, no one will ever be able to tell you exactly how good or bad they are. You'd need to send them for to be analysed. But you can definitely tell if they're terrible. If they're too dark, too runny, um, they're bad. But um, generally, people won't be able to tell you uh, uh, how good an oil is. I know that's not a terrible oil, so it's fine. But an oil change wouldn't hurt. A new spark plug. A new air filter would be good for this bike. I think I'll order a service kit for it. So we need to pump the pads back down, but we need to make sure the fluid doesn't go lower. It's very purpley, it's got a purpley tint to it, this fluid. Now, when you've got your bite, you want to play with it a bit, or you can even strap it down. Look, there you go. That feels much better. Um, Let's just check the fluid at level. Yeah, it's good. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the colour. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's some sort of ABS thing. Um, overnight, I made... Oh, there you go. There you go. We've got all the air out. You see see that's kicking up now? That's how you know there's no air in it. So I'll get the, um, the top back on. Be careful if you spill this like I have. Wipe it straight up because with this ridiculously pin pin thin paint it doesn't take much to take it off so if you get any drippage like I'm doing now while telling you not to do wipe it up right, let me put that there and I'll get the top put back on